Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create Max Mega menu in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create Max Mega menu, first thing that we need to do is to install the plugin. Okay, so we have to go inside, add new plugin, and here we have to search for Max Mega menu. Okay, so as you can see at the top of the search, we have our plugin here. So we have to install this and we have to click on activate. Alright, so as you can see here that our plugin has been activated and you can also see it on the sidebar as well. Okay, and one thing here, so if I go into the website and now if I just go inside the home menu, you can see we have a lot of the different menu items. Okay, so how can we break this down into the different columns? So we can simply do it with the help of Max Mega Menu. Okay, so let's just go back and here let's just go inside Mega Menu. Okay, so the first thing that you can see here that the menu locations. So right now we are using the primary menu. So in the primary menu, we have general settings, we have advanced and display option. So in general settings, if I wanted to enable Max Mega menu, I'll simply change this. And we can also change the event here that how the event would trigger the sub menus. So right now we have our intent. So you can also change it as well. Okay. And after that, we have effect and we also have the effect for mobile version of the menu as well. And we also have the theme. So right now, let's just go inside advanced settings. So in advanced setting, you can see that we have click event behavior. We have mobile sub menu behavior and you can also see the other options here as well. And if I just go inside the display options, you can see this. We have this different display options. So here I can write down the PHP function short code. So this is the short code for our mega menu and this is the widget for our mega menu okay so these are the display options okay so now let's go back to the general settings click on save changes all right so now we have to go inside menu themes so in menu themes as you can see here we have general settings we have menu bar we have mega menus flyout menus and mobile menu and custom styling okay so actually from here i can simply customize my mega menu here okay right now let's just go inside our website refresh the page and now you will be able to see that we have applied our uh, mega menu here okay so how can we break this down into the different columns uh, so we're gonna go back here so from here we can customize the design of our menu so after that we have menu bar okay so if you want to change the background color of the menu you can simply do it from here so we have the menu padding we have the border radius and you can explore these other options as well okay so right now let's just go inside mega menus so in mega menus we have the panel background we have the panel words and you can also see that we have padding border okay so you can also export these options as well all right so right now we're gonna simply go inside the appearance and we're gonna go inside menus so here in menus you will be able to see the option of mega menu here okay so we have to click on that and now you will be able to see a kind of dashboard of our mega menu so first thing that we have to do is to select display more for our sub menu so that would be grid layout okay so right now you can see here that we are only having a single column of sub menus so how can we break down this into multiple columns we just have to add the column here and from here i can simply drag the sub menus into our second column okay so if i just put it here so this is how we can create the multiple column for our sub menu okay Alright, so right now if I just go into our website here, refresh the page. Okay, so when I move the cursor over the home, you can see this this is a kind of unwanted results. Okay, so I have to increase the width of our menu. So I'll simply go back here and I'll simply close this. And I would like to open up the mega menu here. Okay, so let's open this in a new page. And we have to go inside the menu theme. And we have to go inside the mega menus here and here i have to increase the panel width okay so that should be 500 px maybe all right so now let's just save the changes let's just go back to our website refresh the page and when i move over the home now you can see this we are having a broader width of our menu now you can see this we are having the two different columns so we can increase the width even more if we wanted to and we can also increase the number of columns so if i just go back here and if I just go inside the mega menu again, so from here I can even divide our menu into three columns. Okay, so let's just add a new column here and let's just adjust the values here. So now you can see this we are having the three different columns with equal number of menu items. Okay, so let's just go back now and face the page. Now you will be able to see that we are having 
three different columns here. So I think I still have to increase the width as well. So if I just go back here, increase the width by 300 px. Okay. And if I just add some padding here. So you can also do the customization in the panel border as well. Right now, let's just save the changes and go back to our menu. So let's just refresh this. And now let's just move the cursor over our home menu. So now you will be able to see the spacing between our sub menu items since we have added padding. Okay. And we also have the three columns here. So this is how we can create the mix mega menu in the WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.